One of the greatest archaeological findings in history is that of the lost city of Pompeii. This was a city that was covered in ash and volcanic material when Mount Vesuvius erupted unexpectedly. There have been many movies and films and shows and such that have recounted the events of that dreadful day. Or I've tried to put their own spin on things. But unless you look at the actual findings in the city, you don't really get to experience the horrors that occurred. For example, in 2020, there was a villa uncovered just outside of Pompeii, but apparently survived the initial assault from the volcano, only to be wiped out in a second blast. That happened the very next day. Now, if you thought an eruption was a one-off, well, it wasn't. It killed at least two people in its second strike. Specifically, this wealthy man on the slave that I owned, they were found locked in place due to the events of the eruption. And in this case, that referred to the thermal shock that it swept over them and caused them to die in such a way that left their hands and feet clenched. In short, they weren't agony when they died. Based on the positioning of the bodies and what we know about the eruption, they were trying to get to a safe space in the villa to try and be shielded from the blast. But instead, the eruption just followed them into the house and it killed them via the heat and debris. Truly sad part is that these are hardly the first victims of their have been found in Pompeii and the surrounding areas that the Vesuvius affected, even poets, removed by the horrors and tragedy of the people that remained in place and were buried by the volcano. These were people that were just living their best lives, for better and for worse. And when the volcano came along and destroyed everything, it's hard not to be swayed by that.